Captain Cooperinda's slow motion jumps. He used this to get by all kinds of airborne threats. Hit the triangle button while in the air to slow down time. This power up is good for nothing but dicking around. Yep. Hey, you want to know why that is? Why? Because slowing down time slows fucking down everything. Yeah. Not just you. Yeah. <laughs> I used it during boss fights when I played this. Yeah, like I said, it's good for nothing but dicking around. It makes boss fights kind of easier. You getting that life again? How you doing? Hey, the respawns. It's a free life. It's a free life, dude. Get a life. You gotta get that uh, fucking lucky charm, too. Ah, my lucky charms. What's up there? There's a thing you can climb on right yep. there. This gets us to the last uh, thing oh, that's right in this right. area. You can stage. adjust the game camera using the right analog stick. And to bring the camera behind you, click it. Some of you watching may be saying, well, no shit, but no, that, that was a new thing at this point in, in gaming. Yep. See, back in the day, we had to adjust our camera with the shoulder buttons. Yeah, it was, it was a dark time. It was a dark time. Uh, and if you uh, fuck it up like I used to, uh, like I was doing when playing Spyro, you might uh, accidentally roll off a cliff or something. Uh, so... I uh, saw a video a while back that was about games that got uh, bad reviews for what may now seem like stupid reasons. Those rats got pegged. Raleigh appears to have booby trapped this entire place. I'm gonna enjoy so this. So one of Don't the uh, games in it was uh, Alien Resurrection. Ah uh, yes, Alien Resurrection for the PlayStation. Board. Wait a second. It what was if I one of the first games. It was an FPS and it was one of the first games risky. ever to use the second and control stick to control. Your camera way to find out uh, to control your aim and stuff and the game got a terrible review because they were all like uh, this is the worst control scheme ever there this will never catch on and literally every FPS known to man today uses that yep out of that or a mouse and keyboard it's very hard Fuck for you. to play the early mass or the early uh, Medal, Medal of Honor, Honor games. games because of this. Oops, I need to go back up and grab the barrel. There is another way around that. Yeah, there is. There's lots of weird glitchy ways that you can do this. Just fall. <laughs> I always love that about this game. So far, so good. The little uh, punctuated footsteps. The musically punctuated footsteps, I, I love that about these games. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have too much fun with the stupid shit in this game. Good for nothing but dicking around. <laughs> oh, look, a life. And a vault. Get a life. Okay, I have 11. Why are people always telling me to get a life? I have like 10 extra ones. There's a, a bottle up there. Oh, up where? Blue. On the bookshelf. Right there. Right there. See it? Oh, yeah, I see it. These things blend into the background, I swear. Nah. Stop paying enough attention. What the fuck? It's Grandma Frog, or Grandma Raleigh. Judge Frog. Judge Raleigh. <laughs> you, you set yourself on fire. Get in the barrel. Around there. This game's a hot time. I mean, you should avoid that. It's kind of a hot topic. 
There's a clue bottle. It's not. <laughs> There's a clue bottle on top of the other furnace. Yeah, I know there is. It's gonna. Oh, there's one. But yeah, there's another one back here too. What are you doing? Checking how many bottles I have. Apparently, uh, the Zodiac job system came out. Yes, it did. And it's not exactly the same as the PlayStation version. Oh, really? Yeah, apparently it's got, like, the speed hacks and shit that, uh, the HD version of Final Fantasy VII has. Really? So you can, like, hold down a button and, like, have the game go four times the speed. That's cool. Apparently it also has, uh... A di like a slightly modified version of the job system that was already in the Zodiac job system version. Huh. You can now equip two jobs at the same time. Nice. That's so pretty apparently cool. Apparently you can just break the fucking game at this point. Somebody on one of the, uh, Somebody in the Final Fantasy fan group I'm a member of in Facebook posted a thing that was all like, here's all the jobs that just break the game if you equip them in the right way for people. Yeah! It was like... Awesome. Break Final Fantasy XII. It's what it deserves. Yeah, the game deserves to be... It, the game was broken when it came out. I would not call that a good game. Vault's ready to be opened. Go get it. Might as well need... go break those globes first. Yeah. Right break all the things. Break everything all the time. Go get the fault. Ah, uh, this game is so good. Go get the vault. Not as good as the next two, in my opinion, but it's still pretty Fly good. Fly 2 is amazing. Enter the vault code. With the help of a straight edge and compass, the answer was simple. Dial straight edge razor. Cross your wrists, Bentley. A straight edge and a compass? Why the fuck would you need a straight edge and a compass? <laughs> math. B math? He's got to like graph it to figure it out. Chris Cooper's dive collection technique. This move is an extension oh, of the dive I love move that. you already know. Just jump and hit That's the trial move. button near breakable objects for some fast breaking, fast collecting action. Fast breaking, fast collecting action. It slices, it dices, makes julienne fries. It's like playing uh, Ratchet and having the box breaker and the bolt grabber at the same time. Uh huh. It's exactly like that. Have you started playing Tools of Destruction? Uh, haven't resumed it. I've started playing it. I started playing it when I borrowed it from you. Ah, uh, it's such a good game. I love that game. This is a much more useful version. Of what? Of the dive. Yeah. Like the ground pound. That can come in handy in a few places. Is that every level? Nope. No, there's two more. Three more. Three more? Plus two, two more, more plus the boss. Two more plus the boss, yeah. But we have to, like, go to the next area now, right? Yep. See, this is what I mean about, uh... I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but, uh... This game acts like you have a fucking choice in what levels you do. But you don't. You don't. Really. You, you have to. Fuck this thing! Money! To the dive. Bad place to do the dive. Yeah, if you had done the dive at the beginning, it just would have auto-collected all that shit for you. Astonishing! All my calculations led me to believe you would fail to knock out that generator. Never was Thanks for the vote of confidence, asshole. <laughs> I found a way out to Raleigh's hideout. 
never was good at math. Unfortunately, it is doomed to failure. You're not going to tell me I have to shoot myself out of that cannon. I'm afraid that's the only way. You're going to have to shoot himself out of that cannon. You're really scaring me, man. Anyway, to get inside that thing, you had to steal all seven of Raleigh's treasure keys. So what are we waiting for? Okay. You show me those hollow what's it? You mean my holographic markers? Yeah, yeah. And I'll yeah, the hollow whatever it takes to get shot out of that cannon and steal back mm. my family's devious raccoonus. 